The Devil's Thoughts by Robert Southey and Samuel Coleridge. From his brimstone bed at break of day, a walking the devil is gone, to look at his snug little farm of the earth and see how his stock went on. Over the hill and over the dale, and he went over the plain, and backward and forward he swished his long tail as a gentleman swishes his cane. He saw a lawyer killing a viper on the dunghill beside his stable. Oh, oh, quoth he, for it put him in mind of the story of Cain and Abel. An apothecary on a white horse rode by on his vocation, and the devil thought of his old friend, death in the revelation. He went into a rich bookseller's shop, quoth he, we are both of one college, for I sate myself like a cormorant once upon the tree of knowledge. He saw a turnkey in a trice, handcuff a troublesome blade. Nimbly, quoth he, do the fingers move, if a man be but used to his trade. He saw the same turnkey unfettering a man with but little expedition, and he laughed, for he thought of the long debates on the slave trade abolition. As he went through the fields, he looked at a solitary cell, and the devil was pleased, for it gave him a hint for improving the prisons of hell. He passed a cottage with a double coach house, a cottage of gentility, and he grinned at the sight, for his favorite vice is pride that apes humility. He saw a pig right rapidly adown the river float. The pig swam well, but every stroke was cutting his own throat. Old Nicholas grinned and swished his tail for joy and admiration, and he thought of his daughter Victory and her darling babe taxation. He met an old acquaintance just by the Methodist meeting. She held the consecrated flag in the devil nods a greeting. She tipped him the wink, then frowned and cried, Avant, my name's religion, and turned to Mr. W and leered like a lovesick pigeon. General's burning face he saw with consternation, and back to hell his way did take, for the devil thought, by a slight mistake, it was general conflagration.